Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled the bubble and the star cluster. So what do we see here? Well, two different things on the right hand side, we see the bubble nebula and on the other side, we see an open star cluster known as M52. So these are two quite different objects. The open star cluster is a relatively young grouping of stars. An open cluster means that they are not gravitationally bound together and they are slowly moving apart. Now that will take hundreds of millions of years or even a billion years. But these stars will slowly drift apart from each, each other and will just be separate stars. So we see them as a cluster right now, but they will not remain that way. And in fact, that is in comparison to what we call a globular cluster, which is gravitationally bound together, there is enough material there to hold the cluster stars together and to keep them from escaping. Here, we just do not have enough stars, so not enough gravity to be able to hold all of the stars together. On the other side, we see the bubble nebula and you can see the bubble there at the center. And this nebula is formed from a very massive star and what we call an O type star. And it is material that is being pushed out by that star. So as the star has formed its energetic stellar winds push away material in this bubble shape that we see giving us the shape of the bubble there. Now we're able to see again to get an idea of this how big this is the bubble nebula is about 10 light years across so it gives you an idea of how large this is and how much time it has taken for this material to spread out over such a vast distance. And these O type stars do not last very long. And in fact, many of them are the type that will eventually become a supernova, and therefore completely change the structure we see around it today. So the images that we see are what we see now, but these are constantly changing. Not within our lifetimes. Generally, most things in astronomy don't change within a human's lifetime. But over much longer time periods, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years, the structures will change and the patterns that we see are slowly changing. And again, not visible to us, we will never notice the difference between this and a picture taken 100 years ago or a picture taken 100 years from now. But it is something that is con under a constant state of change. So that was our picture of the day for September 25th of 2021. It was titled the bubble and the star cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the red square nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.